This video will help walk you through setting up the XT5 aerator. Begin with cutting and removing the banding from the box. Then carefully remove the outer box, being careful not to bend any of the handles. Cut the bands on front and rear of the machine and remove and discard the banding. Cut the zip tie and remove the manual. You'll also find installation instructions there. Now remove the weights and set it aside and also remove the thumb screws on the weight box. Remove the weight box and set this aside. Remove the transport locking pin from the side of the machine and use a 9 16 box wrench to loosen the handle bolts. Make sure to brace the handle when loosening the second bolt. Move the lift tubes in front of the rear tires. Now install the lower handle carriage bolts on both sides. Finger tighten the nylock nuts for now. Remove the protective wrap from the end of the lift tubes. Now remove the nylock nut and small flat washer. The large washer will stay on there. Then install the end of the lift tube over the bushing. As a tip, you can hold the hardware from the back while installing the end of the lift tube. Install the small washer and nylock nut and hand tighten them. Now repeat this for the other side as well. And again, hand tighten. Use two 9 16 wrenches to tighten the hardware, one on the back side and one on the nylock nut. Tighten it down and make sure that the end of the lift tube is sitting on the bushing. Repeat this on the opposite side as well. Make sure it is tightened fully. Now use a 9 16 wrench to tighten the carriage bolts on the handle. There are two carriage bolts on each side. Make sure the square end of the carriage bolts are sitting in the slot when tightening them down. Put the removable weight below the front tire to level off the engine with the ground. You want to make sure the engine is level and check the oil level before starting the machine. To check the level, remove the dipstick, wipe it off, and reinsert. Now lift the tines and reinstall the transport pin. This will help keep the tines from coming down when removing it from the bottom pallet. Carefully remove the aerator from the shipping base. You can slide the rear tires across the wooden pieces and then flip to the front tires and carefully lower down. Reinstall the weight box. Make sure to be careful with the throttle and motion cable that they are not pinched under the weight box. Reinstall the thumb screws on the weight box. And reinstall the weight. Add fresh, clean fuel to the gas tank.
Now engage the choke lever and pull the rope to start. As shown in the video, you'll have to hold the choke lever in place. Once it's started, you can reduce the throttle. There's a fuel shutoff located on the side of the engine. Pull the lever towards the front of the machine to shut off the fuel 